What's the difference between neurostimulators and neuroleptics, and when are they prescribed? Because both of them are prescribed to regulate mood in cases of autism. Well, neurostimulators are medicines which improve and strengthen brain function. They are cognitive enhancing drugs that improve speech development, socialization, and mood. These medicines are prescribed when we feel the efficiency of a treatment or rehabilitation plan has suddenly slowed down and the expected effect is not being achieved. Though, in general, psychotherapists and psychiatrists say that we shouldn't put a lot of pressure on a child's development and we should accept them the way they are. At the same time, we should expect some improvement while setting realistic goals. It's painstaking labor, but if we are convinced that our treatment and rehabilitation strategy is well planned and we're putting in the work, yet the child still isn't responding, we may include a course of these medicines, like psychostimulators. The medicines we call neurostimulators, like metalphenabut, methylphenidate, and menfluramine, are often used to stimulate brain activity during rehabilitation. In neurotypical children who have a delay in speech development, cortexin and cerebralizin are often prescribed to accelerate this process. Will those medicines help children with autism to start speaking? When we're deciding what is or isn't helpful, we're talking about part of a complex approach, which is designed to ensure that everything in a child's development goes as planned. Therefore, nootropics are part of a complex treatment for children with autism. Both of those drugs, which we've just talked about, have biological origins. Cortexin is a drug derived from cell extracts of animal brains, which improve brain activity. This drug is Russian-made. Cerebralizin is an older, more tested drug that has been prescribed to patients for several decades. I remember that drug. It was around when I first started practicing medicine. It is injected, and according to many years of research, it may improve brain function. It is also used in recovery therapy, in cases of intellectual and physical development delay, and after certain infections and brain injuries. So in general, because of the brain stimulation function, we can't do without nootropic in cases of autism? Yes, of course. So except for the usual drugs like nootropil or paracetam, drugs which contain these extracts can be more helpful precisely because they are extracted from the brain. They work really well and can be prescribed to children as a recovery therapy in cases of autism. And what nootropics in a tablet form can be prescribed to children with autism? For those cases, there's a drug called Pantagam. It improves memory, information processing, and learning ability in children. It is most effective at a young age. The dosage is prescribed according to age and, in addition to recovery therapy, it can improve learning and memory abilities.